You're not a magical girl anymore. You're a witch. And she doesn't even know when it happened. It was in her depression. Of not being able to see Madoka and nobody knowing her. And yeah, that sucks, but technically she should just have to kill herself and then the, we're back to just dealing with wraiths, right? But Kyubei didn't even know about witches. I mean, Homura kind of told him that that's how it used to be. But still, how did she become... She has to be immune. What? It was a big experiment? When it was cut off from the law of cycle? What's with the other What? So she's inside her soul gem. Because she was put in the isolation chamber. Ah, oh, no, there's more Cubase! What? So the friggin' incubators were inviting people in. Homura chose who they were, which was the other magical girls. They want to control Madoka? They want to control the law of cycles? They want to- they want to undo what Madoka did! Because witches are more powerful than race for their energy collection. Oh my god. They want to undo what she did! By controlling her, but to control her, they need to confirm her existence. So they needed Homura to reach out to her. Yeah. Yeah! Her only purpose for existence now is for Madoka's happiness. The imagery in this series is just so out there. No! She doesn't care about herself. She cares about Madoka. That's it. Can't Madoka, like, override this? Why would Homura even, like, trust the incubators to do an experiment with them? That makes no sense. Why, why why would she possibly do maybe she was just too overcome with despair and she just they talked their talk and convinced her uh Roma does a witch I mean seriously who smokes what to come up with this and actually draw it and animate it I'm so confused. I'm so confused. They're trying to- I'm so confused. I have no idea what's going on. So when Madoka was brought in here, she- her memories got affected too. Sayaka and Mommy are working with the real Madoka and- What? And who is that little witch? What? Oh god, there's so many! No! I hate the incubators! Did they kill them all?! <gasps> Incubator slaughter! Oh, she's got the ribbon! Okay, those are the people who were sucked in. Are now free. They broke the seal. They're all out. Aww. So that's I was Homura-chan. Oh, 
So Sayaka died at some point, and the Law of the Order took her, but because she knew Madoka, she's like with her. I don't know who that witch is, but Homura never died so, yet, so... The hell? Monica is like God. How does she not just overcome this? What? 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 Did Homola just create a new universe? Because of what? Selfishness? The hell is that? No! What? She's doing the same thing that Madoka did? Love soils her soul gem? You're not a magical girl or a witch. She was as sacred as a god and I pulled her from heaven and undermined her. <laughs> the incubator's just like, I'm out! I'm out. <laughs> nope, no more. Crush him! Crush him! <laughs> She's like, yes! You will work for me, incubators! But... Why would I want to do that? All she ever did was do it for Madoka. And then why would she over... Take Madoka. She said love soils her soul gem, and she just did nothing but love Madoka. So Homura has the power of memory changing now? She has yellow bows. The hell? Homura switched places with her. I'm so lost as to why Homura would be doing this. Oh, you can't! You can't keep her down! Oh my god! Stop! So she is on her side. She's trying to keep her in this form and make her be happy. She didn't want her to be a god. She. It. <sighs> so she loves her so much, and love is what soils her soul gem, which gave her the power to undo the fact that she was a god, which I chastised the incubators for doing. But they wanted to control her, whereas Homura really wants her to be happy. Are these the credits? Is it over? What? What? So... So... In the end... Homura... Really? Even though she's a demon and now Homura is the queen of the galaxy... Now she... But she still just wants to make Madoka happy. In the end. What? So Homura undid her godhood, but what does that mean for magical girls? Is Homura gonna bear all of their their pain and they're not gonna turn into witches? Are we back to the witch thing? Homura said that she took a tiny part of the Law of Order, so maybe the Law of Order is still there? Even though, and Madoka's technically still a god? But doesn't re but she's living her life as a person because of Homura rather than 
a god who's shouldering all this burden. But then what happens when she dies as her human self? What? This is not a long-term solution, Homura. I can see being able to understand it all, but it's very... I, I, I get how everyone's like, it's, this movie is a total mind screw. Like... I mean, the series itself was, but the- Ugh. What? I mean, I kinda get it. It was like- The whole movie was like, uncovering these layers. Like, you thought one thing, and then they uncovered a layer, and oh, we're in a labyrinth. And then they uncovered- We're in Homoda's labyrinth. And then they uncovered another layer, and we're actually in Homoda's soul gem. And they uncovered another layer, and it was like, oh, the incubators are watching, and then Maruka's gonna come down because Homoda's about to die, and then she just takes over. At the end of the TV series, or the other movies, or whatever, they, at the end of the series, Homoda's all upset because she's saying that ultimately I failed you because now you have to bear all of the burden of all the magical girls because you're destroying witches before they become witches so you're really taking on all this pain and Madoka's like no 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 it's fine it's fine like I you know it, it's it's totally cool this is what I want because I want everybody to be happy but Homura is actually so selfish that she wants Madoka to be happy so instead of letting Madoka do that for the universe she actually finds a way to reverse it so that she becomes the almighty, I guess, bearing all of the sins and all of the sadness. And Madoka is the one that can be reborn, even though technically Madoka's order, law of orders is still in effect. Because she's kind of still god Madoka, even though she's like Homura suppressing her memories of it or something? Oh god, is there something? There's a credit, there's a post credit. Oh my god. It's probably gonna explain nothing. No! Oh! Why did they have to give me that last image of Kube like that and make me actually, like, kind of feel sorry for the incubators? I don't want to feel sorry for the incubators, I want to hate them! I guess they got what's coming to them, that they're kind of, like, Homura's little bitches now, and she, she, like, controls them. That was pretty cool. By far, the most surprising part in the whole thing was when, I mean, I got all emotional and Madoka was coming down and like, Oh my god, she's gonna take Homura with her, and Homura, they're finally gonna be together and happy. Why couldn't Homura just let that happen? And I still don't get what- what- what is Bebe? What- like, she just seemed like an excuse to put a little cute girl character in there. Like, I'm sorry, like, she didn't- I- I- again, on a second watch, it might become more clear, but yeah, she was a witch? But how and why, like, and then she was one of Madokami's protectors? It just didn't make any sense. I mean, Mado Madokami's whole po point is to destroy witches. So why would she have a witch, like, being her secretary, as Sayaka called it? It just doesn't make any sense. And I don't really know if that that's explained. Like, she just seemed like she was thrown in there just to be there. And I was gonna say, that was the only weird part. No! The whole thing was weird, but cool! Like, this is crazy! It's late and I'm tired and it was awesome, so I'm done trying to figure it out. Um, I'm really excited to watch it again. Um, I'm going to be doing a, uh, a, a uh, discussion with uh, Omar on this. I'm really curious to see how, what his take on some of this stuff was, and maybe I'm completely wrong about something. So it, that's going to be a fun discussion. That's It's going to be, I think our minds are going to explode a little bit. That, wow.
I'm really glad I finally got that watch. Thank you so much for watching my reaction to Madoka Rebellion. It, it was a great movie. I, I love Madoka. Like I said, it's still, it's in like my top three favorite anime of all time. It's just incredible and it's, it is worth watching. If you haven't, if you've gotten this far and you haven't seen the TV series, it's only 12 episodes. Um, either watch the TV series or just go and watch like all three movies. The first two movies are basically the TV series. All right, I'm done. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you thought of it, if you've seen it, if you haven't seen Madoka, um, what your thoughts are on it. It's, yeah, I cannot highly recommend it enough. Wow. So give me a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed the video and want to see more. And I will see you guys next time. Take care. Mwah. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.